Good evening, everyone. You know, I want to welcome all of you, friends and family, and I know some of you have traveled a long way to be here. And we, I, on, on behalf of the family, on behalf of the couple, uh, I've known Alam a lot longer than Dane, but I've known him a long time too now. We, we thank you for being here. I have to appreciate a couple as young as Dane, and I mean, you got to love just a, just a couple as young as Dane and Alam who play Elton John and the Beatles <laughs> to welcome you. I mean, you got to like that. Well, with this word, you know, there are only a handful of events in life that have true significance. Birth, death, marriage. Tonight we are here for one of those events. We're here to witness that event and then to celebrate it. And in a way, if you think about it, marriage is death and life. Death and, death and, and life, new life. Because we're saying goodbye to two individuals and we're saying hello and welcome to something that has not existed before. One couple united forever in marriage. So we, we, that's, our, that's our undertaking tonight. And for those of you who were born in Kansas, or and I'm using that metaphorically, you may not have encountered what's before us tonight. This is tonight where you're having a special experience if you've been to weddings in America, and I know we have many Iranians here, and you're used to, in Persians here, you're used to the sofre, but Americans aren't so used to the sofre. So as we have before us tonight, and sitting right in front of the couple, we have a sofre, and I want to explain to you what a sofre is and what's on the sofre. I hope, I hope before the wedding you had a chance, before the ceremony tonight, you had a chance to look at what's here, but if you haven't, after, after the wedding tonight, I would hope you would come and take a look at all of the things, all of the elements that are here on this table, uh, the spread before them, because that's what sofre means. It means spread. This is a, actually a sofre. There are different kinds of sofres. This is a sofre agd. This is a sofre of coming together, of joining in, in marriage, and that's what this is. Let me explain to you with my crib notes here uh, uh, to uh, to what what you're going to, if you've seen it already to explain it to you, and if you haven't seen it before the wedding before the ceremony to you to come and take a look at it uh, tonight. Because what we have tonight is a combination of traditions. We have the Persian traditions and we have the American Western traditions combined in this, in this ceremony, just as we have that in the couple that we are here to celebrate tonight. So this Sofre Agd, it is an ancient tradition. It, it is, is truly ancient. It dates back thousands of years in Iran. Uh, to the traditions that came out of their experience there. And you see these different elements. Let me explain to you some of them. Perhaps the most prominent element is the mirror or the aine, and that represents, you can see, the couple can see themselves in that mirror. They're looking right into it. The mirror represents light and truth. If they can see the reflection there. And the presence of the light is also symbolically, it means to lighten, to brighten up. The, broom, the, the, the bride and the groom, and their future life as bride and groom. So it says, you know what, the future is going to be bright for you. But the mirror also represents a sort of light, the light of truth, because what you, what you see is what you get. I hope you like what you see, guys. <laughs> and then we have the candelabra. We have the candelabra here, and the candelabra in Farsi is Shamdun. And the shamdun also represents light, as you can see, but it also represents fire. So fire and light is a kind of crucible. In other words, the experience, it anticipates that the experience of the couple, as they go through their marriage, are going to have experiences that actually test and try them, but makes them stronger and purer than they were even at the beginning. And then we have noon, we have the, we have the bread. Actually, what we have here is we have... Uh, we have bread, and we have herbs, and we have paneer, cheese. So we have bread, or naan, or, nan, or paneer, or shab sabsi, right? Which means, which actually, let me, let me read this to you. This is very good. The joining of bread and herbs and cheese convey multiple meanings. The white cheese is said to represent purity. And the white cheese is said, is said to represent purity. And the items overall express a wish for good health, uh, for the couple, and Nano Panir Sabsi also symbolizes basics and fundamentals, foundations, 
And the principally, principally they represent or they symbolize community. As a matter of fact, in traditional Iranian weddings or Persian weddings, after the wedding, the people who had gathered to celebrate the wedding would actually share in the Nuna Paniya de Sabzi. Not tonight. Tonight we have a reception. So it's, it's, <laughs> hold on to what you got. And then over here we have the, uh, we have the eggs and the walnuts and war, uh, the tukmamar, morg, and the uh, gerdu. And that represents uh, sim or symbolizes fertility. We have fruit on the table. In this case, we have, anu uh, we have grapes, which rep or mide, general term mide, which symbolizes a joyous future. And may you have one. And then we have water. Where's the water? Where's the, where's the water here? We've got some water here somewhere, right? We don't have any water? <laughs> we, well, we, we, I thought we were going to have some water. Ab, ab actually represents renewal and cleansing. We have the cones. Betty, could you show us the crystal? We have the cones there. Yeah, there we go. The, with the, uh, the gind, if you will. And uh, that's, she's going to be grinding that later on when we get started. And that represents sweetness for the couple. And we actually have some uh, honey. We have the honey right here. We have the asal. And we have the shirini, which is sweetness and happiness for the couple. And we, do we have coins? Do we have any coins? We don't have any, we have any, we don't have any coins. We have any sikhe? Sikhe not any. Max has them in his pocket. We were going to have sikhe. Sikhe actually represents uh, wealth and prosperity. But we do have, let me tell you what we have. We do have some, we have some espand here or wild rue, which if you burn it, and my mother-in-law is Iranian, so I've seen it burn many times when I was around, it keeps away the evil eye. So I'm just going to point that out. Now tonight I'm going to have to turn my back to you from time to time, but, per, but please understand I'm not turning my back on you, okay? So. But now, but listen, that's, that's uh, so if we, as we go through this now, as I say, there are going to be elements of the, of the traditional Western uh, experience, but there's also going to be some uh, Iranian experiences here. I'm actually going to be asking Alam some questions in Farsi uh, later, later on. So this is, we, at the end of this marriage, they'll leave, at the end of this ceremony, they're either going to be married or we're going to be at war with Iran. I'm not sure how that's, that's going to turn out. <laughs> but let me, let's not let form overshadow substance in what we're talking about here tonight. Now let me take let me, let me let me speak for just a moment to Alam and to Dane because I want to talk to them about the subject of love, of marriage, and commitment for a moment. Let me speak to you briefly about the solemnity of marriage. Marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, and soberly. Marriage is not to be thought of as a momentary thing, as a passing affection. It should be considered a lifelong commitment. In fact, commitment is the foundation of marriage. What about love, you may be thinking? I thought love was the foundation of marriage. Here's the thing. Without commitment, there can be no love. People like to talk about falling in love, as in mom. I think I just fell in love. Let me tell you something. People may fall in a ditch, but they do not fall in love. Love is not a matter of falling, as into a ditch. Love is a matter of jumping, as in over a cliff. Love is a matter of deciding. Love is about being all in. It's a matter of saying, yes, I can. Yes, I have. And yes, I will stand beside you, support you, comfort you, and always, always be there for you. Of course, attraction and compatibility are important elements to have in any relationship. But attraction and compatibility can only take a relationship so far. Only an unswerving commitment to bear with one another in love no matter what comes along, no matter what changes and challenges life brings, no matter how many disappointments and heartaches life hands out, only a commitment like that can sustain a relationship to the finish line, to the threshold of at death do us part. Yes, I know our sustaining relationship 
I know sustaining a relationship through all the challenges that lie ahead will be a challenge. But I want each of you to keep this in mind. Every step of the way, the joy that comes from having a relationship like that will sustain you for a lifetime. So Dane and Alam, are you ready to seal, put the seal of marriage on your relationship in that way? Let me think about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now, uh, Alam's going to have to stay after school, by the way. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go through a series of vows. Actually, uh, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to, Alam, uh, I'm going to ask Dane first, and he's going to say I do to this. I hope he says I do. And then I'm going to ask uh, Alam some questions actually in Farsi. Basically, I'm going to ask her, do I have permission to marry you to Dane? And what you're going to observe is she's not going to answer me immediately, but you might hear something from the crowd. And we'll expl you can ask the people who responded from the crowd here, from the guests, what, what they said to Alam or what said about Alam. Uh, but I'm going to ask her a series of questions, and at the end, I think she's going to say yes, but I'm just because I've, I've, I've seen the script. <laughs> Would you please turn to face each other? So I want you to be able to see each other here and, and hold each other's hands. Would you take his hand, his other hand too? These first questions are for you, Dane. Dane, do you take Alam to be your wife? Do you promise to honor, love, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only to her forevermore? I do. Arus Khanum, Alam Sharifi Fai, Ayaman Vakilam Ketoro Beagde Dane Esmith Darbi Aram, Man Vakil Hastam. Alam Rafti Gul Bechine. Arus Khanum, Arus Khanum Alam, Farzande Agai Malak Sharifi Fad, Man Vakil Shomaro, Akilam Man Vakilam Shomaro, Beag de Dain, Smith Darby Aram. Alam Jan Kojahasti, Kojahasti, Mani Jahastam Kojahudi. Alam Jan, I do know. Man, Bakilam Toro, the act the Dane Smith Barbie Aram. Now, I have, a, I have a brief reading here. Listen to these words from the Apostle Paul to the church in Corinth. All are written to the church. They also apply to the commitment, commitment, our key word tonight, that is marriage. This is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8a. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Now, Dane, would you please... Take Alam's hands and look her in the eye and repeat after me. I, Dane, take you, Alam, to be my wife. I, Dane, take Alam to you to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. And I promise my love to you forevermore. And I promise my love to you forevermore. And now, Alam, repeat after me. I, Alam, take you, Dane, to be my husband. I, Alam, take you, Dane, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer only. <laughs> <laughs> for richer and poorer. And I promise my love to you forevermore. And I promise my love to you forevermore. <laughs> 
Okay, Alain, because, because you, you did have a slip up there, I'm going to have to ask you this other thing I forgot to ask you before. Alain, do you take Dane to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding on to him forevermore? I do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the rings? Do we have the rings? We do. Do we have the ring? There you go. I want to, I would like for you to take the rings. Dane, Dane, you take Alam's ring. Alam, you take Dane's ring. Dane, I'm going to ask you to go first. Okay, we're going to be doing the rings now. Alam, I mean, Dane, I want you to go first. I want you to put the ring onto her finger, and I want you to say this, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And Alam, in like fashion, I would like you to put the ring on Dane's hand and say, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Now I have a few more words to say to you, and both of you have to stay after school. Dane and Alam, as the two of you begin this marriage, uniting as husband and wife, and as you this day affirm your faith in and love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts, ideas, and su suggestions of the other of, and of each other. Be able to forgive. Do not hold grudges and live each day that you may share it together. As from this day forward, you shall be each other's home. Comfort and refuge. Your marriage strengthened by your love and mutual respect. You know, I saw, it's actually the Apostle Paul also, he said, never let, never let the sun set on your anger. A, couple, a lot of couples remember that. But likewise, you should never let the sun set on your love. Express your love to each other fully and often. Dane and Allah, I mean so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love to each, for each other by these vows, the giving of these rings, and the joining of your hands. I now declare you husband and wife. <laughs> let me say, let me, let me, let me, let me say this, uh, this other part to you here. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace. Congratulations, you may kiss the bride. And now we have the asal here, which is the honey. Each will dip, and there we go, a little sweetness there. <laughs> I present you Mr. and Mrs. Dane Smith. Ha, 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 ha.